Okay, hello everyone. I'm gonna try to do a short and sweet intro. I'm just checking that I'm filming because I'm doing four looks using the Beauty Bay and Jade palette. Dun, 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 dun. Um, one, my girlfriend, actually, I mentioned this in my first impressions, which I will link in the cards if you're interested in watching that. My girlfriend bought this for me as a present because she's the best. And I initially, when this came out, wasn't interested in it, in it at all. And I was a little bit disappointed in the color story. But after looking at it a little bit more, after looking at swatches and people doing looks with it, I've grown, I, I grew interested in it. And then now that I have it, I've really grown to love it. First of all, this is the best packaging that I've ever seen Beauty Bay do. I really, really love the packaging. And I feel like the more I play with it, the more I like it. And I feel like it's a little bit jumbled, a little bit rainbowy when you first look at it, but it's actually quite a nice palette. I will say, but it's going to depend on whether or not you like big palettes or not, because I know a lot of people like really don't like big palettes personally. I don't really mind them. And I had a lot of fun playing with this and I'm excited to use it more. Because obviously I'm excited to use more. I'm like always excited to use more eyeshadow. Okay, I tried to kind of do a whole range of looks as I typically try to do. I did one that was more neutral. What was my second one? More like sun, like bright and warm toned. I did a darker purple one and then I did this one, which is blue and green. Actually reminds me a lot of a look I did with the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette when it first came out. That's kind of funny, but anyway. Without further ado, let's just get into it. <laughs> okay. Okay, hello. Welcome to the first look using the Beauty Bay and Jade palette. Long awaited. <laughs> Today I'm going to just do a neutral, easy peasy, lemon squeezy eye. And just use, you know, do a simple look relatively for once in my life and do something neutral. So I'm going to take the shade Chakra. Oh my god. This is truly a gigantic palette. Okay, let me just do this. Okay, there. And I'm going to use this as my first, tra like, my transition shade, basically. And I have primed my eyes using the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I have not set my lids. And that will be the same through all of the looks. <laughs> the shade Nefertiti and put this in my outer corner and run this all the way through my crease. Intention, which is this dark neutral brown down here. Oh no, it's not called Intention, it's called Capricorn. And use this to just deepen my crease even more. take the shade Hector no that can't be right heritage as if a shade is gonna be called the Hector heritage and starry eyes I'm gonna take heritage in the center of my lid and starry eyes in the front part first though I'm going to use Nick my NYX glitter primer and put this on my lid where I want the shadow to go 
And then I'm going to take Heritage and put this in the center. take a little bit more of Nefertiti, which is that mid-tone brown, and just blend this over the edge of my shadow, and then take Capricorn, which was the darkest of the browns, and deepen my outer corner one more time with this. Blend this into the shade Heritage, not Hectare, and also run this over the front of my using this to blend these shimmer shades out and then I'm gonna take chakra one more time and blend this over the edge now I'm gonna take heritage and starry-eyed on my fingers very similar shades heritage is a little bit more warm and starry eyed it's a little bit more just true neutral and I'm just gonna intensify these on my lid and now I'm going to take the shade Intention, which is just a beige, just a cream color, and use this to highlight my brow bone. For my lower lash line, I'm going to keep it, again, really simple. I'm going to take Nefertiti, which is the mid-tone brown, and just run this all underneath. And then I'm going to take Capricorn, the deepest brown, and deepen my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Chakra, which was the lightest brown, and blend my lower lash line out. And then I'm going to take Heritage on my pinky and put this in the front part of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the shade Confetti, which is basically like a white silver shade. It's more silver, I guess, than anything. I'm going to spray that and then put this on my inner corner. And then finally I'm going to take the shade Tourmaline, which is this matte black. And I'm going to use this to deepen my outer corners. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do for my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to finish up my eyes and my lips and then conclude. Okay, and this is the finished look. Very easy, relatively simple, neutral. On my lips, I already have a butthole lips. So I've been wearing this makeup for a little bit. This is the ColourPop uh, Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Cloudscape. It's... Do I have anything on my teeth? No. <laughs> it's old and for sure discontinued um, and dry. I haven't worn a ColourPop liquid lip in a while. They're quite dry. I do enjoy a matte lip, but... <laughs> I feel like my lips are going to crack off any second. I also have the ColourPop um, liner in Overboard. In my waterline it's like a bronzy shade and then my lashes are bold face makeup now or never and that is all I mean I feel like you could pair like this I feel like you could pair this look with any lip you want truly it's like super neutral brown like you could go any direction you want but we have the lovely sounds of the construction so I'm gonna leave you here and get into the second <clears throat> Okay, hello. Welcome to the second look using the Beauty Bay and Jade palette. Today I'm going to do something like sunsetty using the warm tones at this top part here. I'm going to start with this shade. I did not check the shade name. Dawn. It's this like really bright peachy orange. And I'm going to use this as my first blending shade. Just run this all through my crease. And we'll just put music over the top of this because we still got the construction going on.
going to take the shade Red Planet, this beautiful red. You know I love a good red. And run this through my outer corner and my crease. red called Angel of the North and use this to deepen my crease. I want to see how much I can build this up to see how dark I can get it. Sheet of rose quartz in the center and sun dancer, sand dancer on the front part of my lid. I really want to take the sheet alien because it's so pretty, but I I did that in my first impression, so I know I should use something else. First, I'm going to take my next glitter primer and put that all over my lid where I'm going to put the shadows. Okay, so now I'm going to take rose quartz. And put that right in the center. Ooh, look at that. That's really shiny. in the front part of my lid. take red planet and run this over my crease one more time very lightly and then also just tap this into the shade rose quartz here and then take the shade angel of the north which was that darkest red and run this over the front using it to blend out the shimmers and also deepen my outer corners and then I'm going to take Dawn, that orange, and run this over the edge again to bring that orange back. Now I'm going to take Rose Quartz and Sand Dancer on my fingers and intensify them on my lid. I really like how this yellow and pink look together. And you know what? I'm going to do a pink lower lash line, I think, just to play around with some more shades. So I'm going to take this shade Retrograde, which is this hot pink here, and I'm just going to take this all underneath my eye. And then I'm going to take the shade Angel of the North that I use in my crease and use this to deepen my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the shade Ethereal and just use this to blend out my lower lash line. If I didn't already say that. Now I'm going to take the shade Love Aura, this hot pink and metallic, and put this 
on the inner part of my lower lash line with my pinky. Okay, that's not really doing that much, but I'm going to take the shade Milky Way, this iridescent pink, pinky white, and I'm going to put this in my inner corner. And I'm going to take the shade Full Moon, which is like a light yellow, and put this on my brow bone. And then finally, I'm going to take the shade Tourmaline, this black, and deepen my outer corners with this. Okay, so this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to finish up my eyes, finish up put something on my lips, and then be back to conclude this look. Okay, and this is the finished second look. I'm committing to my not getting dressed up for YouTube aesthetic. <laughs> um, really bright, really pink, red, sunset, summer vibes, even though it is uh, still in the depths of winter. Wanna die. On my lips, I have the NYX lip liner in Espresso and the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Beige Babe. I thought about doing a gloss, but matte lips still have my heart. So, matted it today. Without further ado, let's get into the third look. Okay, hello. Welcome to the third. Here, let me take this out. The third look using the Beauty Band Jade palette. I'm going to do a halo eye today with some of these purpley tones around here but I'm gonna start with the shade tourmaline this black using my newfound technique of working dark to light is this I think this camera is even am I on the side maybe you never know should I be zoomed in more professional quality right here okay so Ignore this. I don't know what that little white spot is. It will get covered up by shadow. Anyway, okay. So I'm going to stamp this black in my outer corner, my inner corner, and run it, like, do the shape of a halo eye, you know, but with this black. Because I don't really want to deepen this purple up with the blue or the red or the brown. And a lot of this palette is mid-tone, so I'm just going to use the black today. Okay, let's do this. soulmate and I'm just gonna take this and use this to blend the black out and I'm gonna go over the black with this as well
feels very hard pressed compared to the other shades. It's not like the most pigmented. It, it worked fine, especially blending it over a black, but it's just something I noticed. And then, what is this shade called? And then I'm going to take this shade right here called Daydreamer and use that to blend out the edges of these shadows. in the center and then oh, I will be back. So I've cut my crease and now I'm going to take tourmaline which is the black and just intensify again the very outer part and then I'm going to take a tiny little brush and take that black and stamp it on the edge. And then I'm going to take Soulmate, which was that mid-toned purple, and again, blend this over the black and onto the like very edges of my lid. And then also just blend this again over the center. Now on my lid, I'm going to take the shade Galactic in the um, outer part, and then the shade Halo in the inner, very center. But first, I'm going to put some NYX Glitter Primer just in the center of my lid. And then taking Galactic on the outer, like the sides of my lid, the outer and inner part of my lid. I'll go back and blend over this again. And then take, and then take the shade Halo in the center. Okay, then now I'm just gonna go back and forth between Halo and Galactic on my lids just to blend them together. And then I'm just gonna take Galactic, or no, 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 Soulmate, and just blend this into Galactic. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of Daydreamer, which was that lightest purple, and run this all over the edge just to make sure everything's blended. And then I'm going to take Galactic and Halo on my fingers. So you can see Galactic isn't super shiny. And I'm just going to intensify these shades on my lid and also just try to merge them together a little bit more. For my lower lash line, I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to take soulmate first just because I feel like if I stamp the black along my lower lash line I'm gonna get fallout for sure so this time I'm gonna work light to dark and then I'm gonna take tourmaline and deepen my lower lash line with this and then I'm gonna take daydreamer that lightest purple and just blend the edges of this out now I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of glitter primer on my pinky just like a small little dab and put this in the center of my lower lash line and I'm going to take the shade halo and put that over the top and then I'm going to take the shade Milky Way which is this like white pink iridescent shade spray that and put that in my inner corner <laughs> And also put that on my brow bone okay and so now I'm finished I'm going to put my lashes on put something on my lips and then be back to show the finished look okay and this is the finished look I actually really love how this came out I've been feeling um how do I say it unconfident about my halo eye ability recently I feel like nothing no halo eye that I've done in a long time has come out the way I actually want it to so 
I'm really, this is like boosting my confidence a little bit and I really love these dark purple tones. On my lips I have the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Huntress. I've been really embracing a bold lip recently. And that is all. Oh, my touch, my eye is twitching. Unfortunately, I have to wash this makeup off because I have a Zoom meeting. I'm so sad, but at least it was able to be documented briefly. And that's all I have to say. Okay, fourth and final look. Okay, hello, and welcome to the fourth and final look using the Beauty Bay and Jade palette. Dun, dun, dun. Today I'm gonna do like blue, like blue. I'm gonna do blue. I'm gonna do blue. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. <laughs> I can start with this shade 2222. I'm really excited to use this. It looks like a beautiful like greeny yellow shade. What do you call that? Like a chartreuse. And I'm just gonna run this through my crease. This is my initial blending shade. My lids are stained a little bit pink from yesterday, but that's okay. We'll just try to cover it up. shade Northern Star, this beautiful like cobalt blue. Very nice. And I'm going to run this through my outer corner of my crease. I'm going to do a half cut crease today. take the shade Celestial, which is this dark blue, and deepen my outer corner and my crease with this. to hop off camera, cut my crease, and then be back. Okay, so now I'm just going to take Northern Star, which was that mid-toned blue again, and lightly run this over the edge, trying to be careful, and then tap this on to my lid a little bit. And then I'm going to take Celestial and run this over the edge on my crease here and then deepen my outer corner okay so on my lid now I'm gonna take the shade moodlet this darker blue here in the center and then the shade crystal clear this light blue on the inner part first though I'm gonna take the NYX glitter primer and put this on my lid where I cut my crease so now I'm gonna take moonlit that in the center.
then taking a crystal clear, putting that in the front. and forth between those two and blend them together and then I'm just gonna do the same thing on my other lid and then I'm just gonna take the shade celestial the darker blue and blend this into the shade moonlit and then I'm gonna oopsie daisy and then I'm gonna take 2222 that initial like greeny yellow shade that I used and run this over the edge just to make sure that it's still there and then I'm gonna take the shade moonlit and crystal clear my fingers and intensify these shades on my lid. Crystal clear is really stealing the show here. Now I'm going to take the shade Intention, this matte beige shade, and use this to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm going to take a tiny brush and take the shade Celestial, the dark blue, and just stamp this over the edge of my cut crease just to make sure that the definition is still there. On my lower lash line, I'm gonna take Northern Star, which was that mid-tone blue, and run this all underneath my eye. And then I'm gonna take Celestial, which was the darkest blue, and use this to deepen my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take 22-22 and blend my lower lash line out. Be like a peacock. And then I'm going to take the shade Jaded, this beautiful, like, jade green. And put this on the inner part of my lower lash line. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! What the hell? I just put this pencil brush into this 2222 shade and it, like, cracked. I didn't even do it that hard. That's so sad. What the hell? Beauty Bay. Anyway, I guess I'm going to gently tap into this shade. I didn't realize I was being so aggressive. And put this in my inner corner. Okay, I'm going to have to be very gentle with this palette. And then finally, I hope this shade doesn't crumble out, I'm going to take the shade Confetti, I believe it's called, the silver. Yeah, and then just tap over this um, 2222 shade, just to add a little bit of sparkle to it. And then finally, <laughs> I'm going to take the black called Tourmaline right here and use this to deepen my outer corners. Okay, so this is it. I'm just going to finish up my face and then be back to conclude this video. Okay, and so this is the finished look and the end of this video. On my lips, I have the Kat Von D. Oh my god. KVD Beauty Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. But I think it's finally time to let this go. I'm, I've been denying it for a long time. I'm pretty sure that this applicator is moldy and it smells bad and I just, in my heart of hearts, I know it needs to be chucked. <laughs> but... I love the color so much that I've been desperately grasping this for dear life, but I think it's time to let it go and I might repurchase this at some point in the future. I'm not going to lie. Okay, because I do, I love the color so much. Anyway, it's not relevant. Okay. This palette, so between my first impressions and this video, I've used 
actually most of the shades. The shades that I haven't used are Tarot, Space Jam, Good Vibes Only, What's Your Sign, Hun, Natural Beauty, um, Sunshine Skin I don't think I've used, Zodiac I haven't used, Horizon I haven't used, Head in the Clouds and Serenity I haven't used, and then I've used all of these shades. So I've used most of them. And I feel like matte wise, they perform, like performance wise, this performs pretty much the same as any other Beauty Bay eyeshadow palette that I've used, to be honest. With the exception of, as I just closed this palette, the shade Soulmate that I used in my third look, I believe, is a little bit drier. It's not quite as like, um, uh, dusty, but not in a bad way. Like a lot of these shades are a little bit softer than mattes. This is a little bit harder pressed. You have to like work to build it up a little bit more, but that's the only one that I've noticed that had any like type of inconsistency or anything. And then the shimmers, they're, they're not all super sparkly and shiny. Like a lot of the, like a lot of the smaller Beauty Bay palettes have like the 20 pan palettes or whatever some of these are and some of these are just regular kind of st more standard metallics they're really beautiful still like don't get me wrong they're just like not the ultimate like shiny sparkly beauty bay shadows or the shadows that i typically associate with beauty bay shimmers so so i would say what's i would say what's your sign hun or why don't I do this? So I would say Halo, Sun Dancer, maybe um, Milky Way a little bit, Rose Quartz, Alien is super beautiful, Confetti, Sunshine Skin looks like it's going to be a little bit more sparkly even though again I haven't used it on my eyes, and then Crystal Clear. Nor Mother Earth is a little, it's kind of like in between a regular metallic and the shiny formula. Those are the shades that I just said that are like the ones that I typically associate with Beauty Bay's like regular metallic formula. The other metallics in here are just kind of regular metallics. I don't know if that's going to sway you in one way or the other, but it's definitely something to mention. It's not like 100% the same across the board. Overall, I think like if you like this color story and if the idea of having like a really giant palette excites you or you like the shades that were chosen in here, chosen to be in here, I think that this would be honestly a really great palette. I like the packaging and for having 42 or yeah, 42 shades, it's not overly big. Like it's, it's a large palette, but it doesn't feel like crazy, crazy big size wise. And I feel like it's less rainbow when you actually use it then it initially seems like in the pictures or when you just look at it and it is a little bit crazy I feel like and kind of like confusing honestly to like try to come up with looks when you first glance at this but I feel like what's helped me is going row by row because I feel like the rows are a little bit more of a curated color story and then and then also sections so you have like your warmer tones up here, your purples, some neutrals, and then like more cool toned like greens and blues at the bottom. So that's kind of like if you have found that you're struggling with trying to like come up with looks and stuff using this palette, that's kind of like what I did. And hopefully this video was helpful in terms of like perhaps inspiration. I'm not sure if you, you know, want to try something new with this palette <laughs> and this is also just a way for me to play more with this palette because I really actually do quite enjoy it um I think it's a really fun palette and has like lots of bright shades specifically those like really bright oranges that I don't think I actually have in my collection and other places let me know if you've enjoyed this video <laughs> it's always good to know uh, thank you so much for watching, and I would love to see you in my next one. Bye.